God is not playing around, and he's about to do something amazing in your life. You may be feeling uncomfortable right now, but that's because you are on the verge of something great. You are about to make some people uncomfortable because of the blessings that are coming your way. If you believe in God, and you have been faithful in seeking him, he is about to bless you openly. You may have been struggling and suffering for a long time, but God is saying that he is about to deliver you. He is about to set you free from everything that has been holding you back, from every pain and suffering you have experienced. We are approaching spring. This is a birthing season, and just like a woman delivers a baby, God is delivering his people in this hour and in this season. He is rescuing us from all the shame, pain, and abuse that we have experienced because of our faith in him. He is healing us from our physical ailments and taking away the emotional pain that we have been carrying. God is saying that anyone who is an enemy of yours is an enemy of his. He is handing out judgment to those who have been mocking and abusing you. This is the Abrahamic covenant, and God is calling you into a covenant with him. Don't lose hope. Don't give up on our faith in God. Even when things seem difficult, we must continue to humble ourselves, to cry out to him, and to let go of the things he has told us to let go of. If we do this, God will bless us openly, and we will experience the deliverance and freedom that he has promised us. Remember, God is not playing around. It is showtime, and he's about to do something amazing in your life. So, keep the faith, keep pressing on, and watch as God works wonders in your life. I want you to know that you are destined for greatness. The Lord has chosen you for a special purpose. He wants to bless you, to make your name great, and to bless all people through you. This is a divine calling that has been placed upon your life, and it's time for you to embrace it fully. I know that you may feel like an underdog or an ugly duckling, but let me tell you something. In the eyes of the Lord, you are always beautiful. He doesn't see you as the world sees you. He sees the potential that lies within you and the unique gifts that you bring to the table. You were created for a purpose, and that purpose is about to be fulfilled. I understand that it may be difficult to believe this at times, especially when the world seems to be working against you. But I want you to know that God is on your side. He is delivering you from your struggles and setting you free in this hour. The anointing that is upon your life is powerful, and it's causing others to become jealous. But don't worry about them. They don't understand the ways of the Lord. Instead, focus on what God has in store for you. The Lord is calling you to rise up and take your place in the world. He's calling you to step out in faith and claim the blessings that he has promised you. Yes, there may be those who curse you and mock you, but don't let them bring you down. Remember that the Lord will curse those who curse you and bless those who bless you. He is fighting on your behalf and he will see you through to victory. You have been through so much pain and suffering, but today, God is saying that it is time for your deliverance. The great and lofty promises that you have been holding onto are about to come to pass, and God is going to fix everything that has been broken in your life. There are different levels and stages that you must progress through, but fear not, for God is with you every step of the way. He has promised to draw you back to him, to send you through the process, and to bring you to the other side stronger and more victorious than ever before. I know that you may have been taunted and ridiculed by those around you, but do not let their words bring you down. Remember that those who mock you now will soon be put to shame. You have been reverently and respectfully responding to God's word, and he sees your faithfulness. He will reward you for your obedience and your perseverance. As you continue on this journey, remember to build in silence. Be careful with who you share your personal matters with. Only those who are truly trustworthy and supportive should be allowed into your inner circle. Keep your eyes fixed on God and let him be your guide. God is not going to keep you waiting for long. 
He is handing out judgment to his enemies, and he is going to deliver you soon. So hold on to your faith and keep trusting in him. You are strong, you are powerful, and you are capable of achieving great things. So go forth with confidence, knowing that God is on your side. The best is yet to come, my friend. So keep pushing, keep striving, and keep believing. You have already come so far, and there is nothing that can stand in your way. You've gone through a difficult period of your life. You've faced trials and tribulations that seemed insurmountable. You've experienced pain, disappointment, and heartache that has caused you to question your faith and your purpose. But I want you to know that your suffering has not been in vain. God has been working on you, shaping you, and molding you into the person he has created you to be. It's easy to lose faith when things don't go according to plan. It's easy to question God's intentions when we don't understand why we're going through what we're going through. But it's during these moments of struggle that we must lean on our faith and trust that God has a plan for our lives. You may have gone through some trials longer than necessary due to delayed obedience, but God is still faithful. He is a God of restoration and he is here to deliver you from your suffering. His promise is that your pain will be short-lived and that he will deliver you like a newborn baby. The scripture reminds us that we can experience the deliverance before the labor. We can be born again, renewed, and restored without having to go through prolonged pain and suffering. God is not going to close the door to you. He's not going to let you be put to shame. He has promised to bring to pass everything he has spoken over your life. You have been anointed and appointed for a specific purpose, and it is up to you to trust in God's plan for your life and move forward boldly, even if it means leaving behind people and things that no longer serve your journey. Yes, this may make some people uncomfortable, but it is crucial to remember that your calling is not about pleasing others, but about serving God and fulfilling your divine purpose. It is time to speak up and use the power of your voice to manifest the things you desire in life. This is a decade of the mouth, and the words you speak will have a direct impact on the direction of your life. So be mindful of the things you say, and remember that God is always listening. Speak life, speak positivity, speak love, and watch as God repays you for your words. Do not be discouraged by those who mock the body of Christ or God's prophets, for they will soon see the truth and power of God's will. Keep your eyes fixed on the Lord, and he will lead you to great heights that you never thought were possible. Remember, you are loved with the love of Christ, and God sees you and is working in your life. Stay encouraged, stay focused, and stay faithful to the Lord's plan for your life. Keep pursuing your purpose, and I have no doubt that you will achieve great things in this lifetime. So go out there, my friend, and be the light that God has called you to be. The world needs your unique gifts and talents, and it is up to you to share them with the world. Trust in God, believe in yourself, and watch as miracles unfold in your life. May God bless you abundantly, now and always. Type Amen if you truly believe in the Lord. Please stay with us now for a quick preview of a new video that's just been released on our new channel, Heaven Nears. You won't want to miss this. Are you ready for a jaw-dropping, life-changing story that will make you believe in miracles? Brace yourself as we take you on a wild ride through the mind-blowing experience of a teenage cyclist. One moment, they were speeding down a hill on their bike, feeling the rush of the wind and the warmth of the sun. The next, they found themselves lying unconscious on the ground, their body broken and bloodied. But what happened in between will leave you speechless. The cyclist had a near-death experience and came face to face with a mysterious figure in white. Was it an angel, god, or something more sinister? You won't believe what happened next in this unbelievable tale that will make you question everything you thought you knew about life and death. If you're interested in watching the rest of this video, be sure to click on the suggested video shown on your screen right now.